Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about why Pioneer will have far fewer cheaters than Modern. So Modern is plagued by cheaters. There's lots of them. And there are more cheaters in Modern Legacy than there are in Standard, even though Standard is played far more. And the reason that is the case is because of the fetch lands. Fetch lands allow you to interact with your deck whenever you want to. You can stack your deck, you can find that one card, as the guy in Lime Green does, that you really, really need. And there's no interaction. Even T T1 Thoughtseize, turn 1 Thoughtseize, has no effect uh, against an opponent who's going to cheat using Fetchland, because the card that they want is actually in their deck. So Thoughtseize, one of these cards that have been very dominant, is not dominant in Modern. It's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. But it doesn't actually have the effect that it should have, which is picking the best card from your hand. And now you have, let's say, 50 cards in your deck. It's very unlikely that the card that you need, the Geist of St. Traff, is on the top of your deck. But with a fetch land. Yeah, the exact card you need will be always on the top of your deck. And you'll draw it the next turn. You'll crack your fetch, you lose no tempo, you lose maybe a little bit of life. But you will get the card that you want at the top of your deck. Um, and, you know, I have grave concerns about um, the other version of it, which is a Jared Buccelli. Whenever you fetch land, let's say assuming that you're not going to cheat. And you crack a fetch land, the opponent has the ability to shuffle your deck, manipulate the deck, put extra land on top of your deck, put um, extra non-land cards on top of your deck, and pass it back to you. And that's it. I mean, that's it. So whenever you, and then you're not allowed to then again shuffle your deck because that would defeat the whole purpose. You would be doing that for eternity. And then whatever cards on top of your deck that your opponent presented to you will be the card that you draw. So that is the anti-fetch land reverse cheat, which is also a big problem. As Jared Puccelli won, I think he won player of the year or rookie of the, some some like random event that he won. And he just dominated his opponents by doing that cheat. So modern is a place that people are, I would say 90% of people are cheating in modern in some way. Because there's just, you're touching either, your, you're manipulating either your deck or your opponent's deck almost every turn. If you were smart, you would be able, like, I, I just can't imagine why there's not, like, a real magician in Magic. Like, an actual, like, like a former ma magician who failed to make it in Las Vegas and now it's, like, the number one Magic player. Because I think they could, sleight of hand, just get away with anything. And people do it so often that it just is second nature. And assuming there's no cameras, again, at your FNM or at a modern PTQ, you cannot film everybody, right? And most places don't even have streaming and cameras to film anybody. So it's very unlikely. It's If your opponent cheats like that and you catch them and you call a judge over, the cheat is already over, Okay. And the argument can always be like, oh, well, Geist, I have four Geist. I, of course I drew one. There's no way to verify without being caught on film that the person cheated using the fetch land technique. There's just none. Because after it has happened, there's no evidence. There's no like other evidence. Like, And then you'd ask, hey, why is your opponent uh, manipulating your deck? Or why are you manipulating your deck? You would just be like, oh, well, I fetched. I'm like, oh yeah, Fetch Land. So Pioneer, I think, will be vastly more popular than Modern because there will be much less cheating. Uh, the Fetch Lands are a serious, serious problem. Um, it's a problem for the amount of time it takes to shuffle your deck, and then you shuffle your opponent's deck, and this can go on for a long time. And it's a problem because it gives that window of opportunity. It gives the ability to manipulate something that I don't think should be manipulated. I think when you shuffle your deck, 
and what it is, and your opponent shuffles your deck once, and that's what you're going to draw into. Fetch lands allow you to manipulate what you need when you need it. So even if you stack your deck in the beginning, maybe your opponent plays out a different play style, and you're like, oh crap, I stacked my deck wrong. Right, you're not continuously shuffling your deck to make sure that the right cards are on top. And that's a huge advantage, right? Like in the middle of the game and you realize, oh, well, I'm missing this combo piece. Now I need to go find it. Because uh, I had the combo piece stacked and they removed it. Let's say you were playing Malera and you were comboing off with her and then they killed Malera and you're like, oh, crap, I need to get a new, new Malera. So the ability to use Fetch Lands to change your draw and find exactly what you need at that moment in time is just so, so bad for the game of Modern. I just don't really think Modern is going to survive Pioneer, uh, mainly because the stores should not, I mean, most stores should not be able to support Modern because they don't have, like if I was a store, I would be much happier with uh, Pioneer given that I just have cases of RTR, Gatecrash, Dragon Maze, and so on. And stock Ixlon, all these old boxes that before no one really had any reason to buy them. Because, okay, you buy a box of Ixlon or you buy um, a box of RTR, that has like really little relevance, right? Abrupt Decay, Death Ray Shaman, none of these cards have relevance in modern. But hey, there's this new format where they're actually very good. All right, Pharaohs, for instance, Thought Seas. I just find that fetching. I mean, the guy turn one, I mean, he T1s a um, Thoughtseize. That should prevent the guy from drawing perfectly, curving out perfectly. I mean, if there was something that would prevent him from curving out perfectly, it would be T1 Thoughtseize, right? That's a whole point of card disruption. But the fact that... The cards that he needs, the guy in the lime green needs, is actually in his deck. And he can pull those cards out anytime he wants. That's devastating. That's beyond. There's no way to interact with that. There's no interaction because you're just, your deck is your, deck is your hand, basically. You can find out whatever you need whenever you need it. So, in my opinion, Pioneer is going to be A, it'll probably be more fun, it'll definitely be a lot cheaper, and these stores should support it much more because they have these boxes they need to move. Like, after rotation, how many people would buy an Amaket box? There's nothing in Amaket that can be played in Modern. But there might be a few cards in Amaket that can be played in Pioneer. Banning the Fetch Lands was genius. Like, it's just so smart when I think about it. Because now, you're basically banning all the cheaters. The ability to manipulate decks will always result in a cheater. Um, and the most, the majority of cheaters are not doing on camera. I'm sad to tell you this. The majority of cheaters are smart enough not to do it on camera when they're specifically told they're on camera. Right, only the really dumb cheaters like Alex Bertini and friends would do it on camera. Because they tell you, and you know, because you can see the cameras, there's no like mystery, right? It's not like there's a spy camera on you. No, there's just no way to argue that unless there is a camera on a fetch land. Because you're not drawing extra cards. You didn't play an extra land. There's no way to mathematically work from a judge standpoint that you cheated using a fetch land. Because you didn't, I'm, for the most part, you didn't have an additional card. You didn't have an additional land. There's not like additional cards in your graveyard. On board, at least, that game state is possible. Because you tutored for whatever you wanted, and it wasn't a, there was no card advantage gained. Modern, the I love modern, but the one thing I really thought kind of made modern difficult for newer players: a price point, but b was all the shuffling that had to happen. And that shuffling, each time you shuffle, is another opportunity for your opponent to cheat you, and that's how you have to view it. 
Look, if people are willing to cheat on camera, suddenly they become saints when they're off camera? Come on, that doesn't make any sense. This cheat cannot be punished. The Fetchland Vampiric Tutor cheat, where you put whatever card you want on top of your library, in real life, without video footage, there's no way for a judge to punish that person. Because it already happened. Now, if you had like 10 eyewitnesses, but in real life, those eyewitnesses are the guy in Lime Green's friends, right? People who cheat always have their friends back them up. And you know this, I know this, and that's why I don't play Modern anymore. I, I love Modern, I only play my friends for no prize pool. As soon as you have like a $5 prize pool, then things start like screening out of control, right? That's where Alex Pacini got caught. He didn't get caught at Magic Fest. He got caught like for a $50 prize pool at his local F and them. <laughs> I mean, come on. That was the backbreaker. That was the thing he got banned. Like, And currently, there's no way to identify cheaters because the cheating list is now non-public. Um, there's no way to know who got caught cheating or who got disqualified. There, there's just none because all that information is now private. Supposedly, there's this new system, right? This private system that will tell you if someone got caught cheating, but it doesn't tell the public. The whole point is there's no punishment for cheating. On, and this Fetchland cheat, if a judge came and the judge was not watching what happened, there's no way he can condone the guy in Lime Green for cheating if there's no video evidence. Because there's nothing on the board state that would indicate cheating has happened, even though it has. So very glad Fetchlands are gone. Like I mentioned, I think Fetchlands are the cause of cheating. The large cause of cheating is Fetchlands. Um, either you stack your opponent's deck or you stack your own deck. Like, I mean, the fact that Jared Bruccelli could win that many games, and he's, like, really bad at Magic. Like, I would love to see him play MTG Arena. He'd probably be as bad as what. Imagine Wedge winning every game of Magic, and you're like, wait, what's happening? Oh, he was stacking his opponent's deck. That's what happened. Anyway, bye, guys.